When I graduated from university, I hate programming. Somehow I forced myself in degree to learn programming like C, C++, network programming, data structure, and some other programming languages. In order to get just good grades, I was working hard to get into that. But I never enjoyed programming in entire my degree. For a longer time, I was having an impression in my mind that programming is not for me. But then something happened which entirely changed everything. Then somehow I came to realization that changed everything for me. My learning path completely changed and my mindset also get changed, ending up allowing me to fastly gain programming skills in domain of PLC, DCS, SCADA and HMI. Right now when I'm recording this video, I love programming PLC, DCS, SCADA and HMI. If you're one of them who is scared from PLC, DCS and SCADA programming and you don't like programming PLCs, DCS and SCADA, this video is right for you. In this video, I would open up on my journey what makes me to fall in love with PLC, DCS and SCADA programming. This video is sponsored by Vcon Technologies. Vcon provide product and solution for automation such as HMI, PLC, server controller, IIoT solutions like VNet and VBox and Inverter. Successful people in any field know how to control their brand and kill negative thoughts. In order to control your brand, it's important to understand how brain works. If you want to be a programmer and you have a different fears, learn the art of controlling brain. What happens in my brain when I'm learning? Our brain is composed of 85 billion neurons. A neuron is a cell which acts as a messenger, sending information in the form of no impulses like electrical signals to other neurons. When you learn something, what happens in brain? It creates new connection between your neurons more you practice, stronger these connections become. As your connection becomes stronger, the messages are transmitted faster, making them more efficient. That's how you become better at anything you learn. Let's suppose if you learn something like PLC program for level control, it would create a weak connection between some neurons. Issue here is initially this connection is very weak because you are very new to this thing. Your brain is not convinced yet. Is this information is important enough? According to neuroscience, there are two important methods. By using these two methods, you can make these connections more stronger. One way is repeatedly activating your neurons. What I mean by this is you have to practice more. Try to retrieve the information from your memory. Try to explain the concept to your friend. You can answer quiz question if you want to make these connections more stronger. Another method which can help you to make these connections more stronger, that is to have a space between activation of neurons. What I mean by this is you need to have a breaks in your learning sessions. Breaks are very important and it helps you to make these connections more stronger. It helps you to have a healthy brain. A lot of new fresh engineers and students are scared when they think about PLC, DCS and SCADA programming. And that is all because of a mindset that they have a mindset like they can't do. Programming is not for me. Maybe those who are doing, they are more smarter. In order to get rid of this mindset, Mindset, it's important to understand what is a fixed mindset and what is growth mindset. The people who have a fixed mindset, they believe their intelligence is fixed and static. These people avoid challenges to avoid failure. The people with the fixed mindset, they ignore opinions of other people. When they see someone getting success, they feel threatened. The people with fixed mindset hide flaws so that they can't be judged by other people. They believe that putting effort is worthless. No matter how much effort they would put, they can't succeed. And these are the people who give up easily. On another end, those people who have a growth mindset, they believe intelligence and talents can be improved to learning and effort. The number one thing that you would see with the people having a growth mindset is a continuous learning effort in their life. And they have a belief that the effort would lead to the success. They value the feedback of other people. When they get to know about the success of someone, 
instead of getting threatened from that person they get inspiration from that person when somebody give feedback to these people they take it as an opportunity to learn more and improve now one important thing those people who have a fixed mindset can they change their mindset from fixed mindset to growth mindset researchers have found that fixed mindset can be changed to the growth mindset there are several ways to develop a growth mindset you should have a realization that you can improve you should have a mindset that the brain can improve you can become more smarter if you follow the right map one of important and essential thing is to remove fixed mindset in a wise most of the people have in a wise that acts against the growth mindset try to flip these thoughts whenever you get some project your thinking pattern should be like this this task is really hard because i'm developing my problem solving skills i have to work hard in order to accomplish my goal when i'm struggling with something that mean i'm learning i did not go great but i don't have to get it perfect this time i just need to grow my understanding step by step those people who are a successful people they have a one essential thing that they enjoy the process they are not looking for the end goal rather they enjoy the learning curve in order to improve your mindset it's important to get a feedback from other people then you would get good feedback that would act as an inspiration for you another very important thing is if in the case you want to be successful you have to get out of a comfort zone you have to understand when you are learning failure is a part of process and when you fail it's an opportunity to learn more and improve Another very important thing that whenever you are learning something you should have a belief the information that you are learning is very important for you and for your career as well. Another very important thing when you are learning PLC programming that you have to start learning at the start and then you have to apply that learning in order to build an industrial application and solve industrial problem. Most of the people have a mindset the PLC programming and DCS programming is like C, C++, Java and other traditional programming languages it is not like that the plc programming is well structured you have a built in functions available there are many repetition you don't have to invent the wheel all the time you have to put an effort learning at the start about the instructions about some problems and in your entire life you might be repeatedly applying same mechanism to solve different problems so plc dcs and scada programming is not like other traditional programming so if in the case you are not good at c it doesn't mean you can't learn plc dcs and scada programming like i myself don't like c c++ java and other programming languages but i do love plc dcs and scada and hmi programming motivation is key and motivation would come in if in the case you have a goal if you're focused you're determined and you want to do something bigger in your life with the motivation you would definitely excel you would definitely get more positive results and motivation would come in your way if you would be accomplishing day by day no matter how slowly but every day you are putting effort in a right direction with that i would conclude today's session if in the case you like this video consider hitting the like button if in the case you haven't subscribed this youtube channel consider subscribing until next video take care and allah hafiz